The electric SUV wars just got serious. On one side, we have Tesla's best-selling model Y, the vehicle that's dominated the EV market and become the world's best-selling car. On the other, the stunning Polestar for a Scandinavian luxury coupe SUV that's turning heads and challenging everything we thought we knew about electric vehicles. Both are 2026 models. Both promise incredible technology. But which one deserves your hard-earned money? I spent weeks researching every specification, every feature, and every detail to bring you the most comprehensive comparison you'll find anywhere. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly which electric SUV is right for you. Let's dive in. Welcome back to Highlight Mags. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button because we're diving deep into the electric vehicle revolution and you don't want to miss what's coming. Today's comparison is particularly fascinating because we're not just comparing two electric SUVs, we're comparing two completely different philosophies of what an electric vehicle should be. The 2026 Tesla Model Y represents the continuation of Tesla's mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. It's the refined, updated version of the vehicle that's already sold millions of units worldwide. It's practical, efficient, and packed with Tesla's industrializing technology. The 2026 Polestar 4, on the other hand, is Volvo's luxury electric brand making a bold statement. This isn't just another SUV, it's a coupe SUV that prioritizes Scandinavian design, premium materials, and a completely different approach to the electric driving experience. Here's what we're covering today. First, we'll break down the specifications and performance of both vehicles. Then we'll dive into design, interior quality, and technology. We'll compare charging infrastructure, real-world practicality, safety features, and of course, pricing and value. Finally, I'll give you my verdict on which vehicle wins in different categories and who each vehicle is perfect for. Let's start with what matters most to many buyers, performance and specifications. When it comes to electric vehicles, the powertrain is everything. It determines how the car feels, how far you can go, and ultimately, how much you'll enjoy driving it. So let's break down what's under the hood or rather, what's in the battery pack and motors of both these vehicles. Tesla Model Y Performance Breakdown The 2026 Tesla Model Y comes in two main configurations, and this is where Tesla's strategy gets interesting. The base model features a single-motor rear-wheel drive setup producing 295 horsepower and 309 pound-feet of torque. Now, I know what you're thinking 295 horsepower doesn't sound like much in the EV world. But here's the thing, Tesla has optimized this powertrain for efficiency, and we'll talk about why that matters in a moment. The long-range all-wheel drive version bumps things up significantly to 397 horsepower and 389 pound-feet of torque. This is the sweet spot for most buyers, offering a perfect balance of performance and range. The 60 mph time sits at approximately 4.8 seconds, which is genuinely quick for a family SUV. You're getting sports car acceleration in a practical package. Both configurations use an 80 kWh battery pack. Tesla has refined their battery technology over years of production, and this shows in the efficiency numbers. The EPA range varies depending on configuration, but you're looking at between 327 and 357 miles on a single charge. That's real-world, EPA certified range not optimistic manufacturer estimates. Polestar 4 Performance Breakdown Now the Polestar 4 takes a different approach, and it's immediately apparent in the specifications. The single-motor rear-wheel drive version produces 268 horsepower and 253 pound-feet of torque. Yes, that's less than the Tesla's base model, but remember Polestar is positioning this as a luxury vehicle, not a performance machine in its base form. Where things get really interesting is the dual-motor all-wheel drive version. This beast produces 536 horsepower and 506 pound-feet of torque. That's not a Typo 536 horsepower. The 60 mph time drops to an astonishing 3.5 to 3.7 seconds depending on conditions. This is supercar territory, folks. The Polestar 4 dual motor will absolutely embarrass sports cars costing twice as much at traffic lights. The Polestar 4 uses a larger battery pack, ranging from 94 to 100 kilowatt depending on the market and configuration. 
However, and this is crucial, the EPA range is actually lower than the Tesla. The single motor version achieves approximately 310 miles, while the dual motor performance version drops to around 280 miles. This is the trade-off for that incredible power output. Efficiency comparison. Here's where we need to talk about real-world efficiency, because this is where your wallet will feel the difference over years of ownership. The Tesla Model Y achieves a combined efficiency of approximately 2 le per 100 kilometers. The Polestar 4 comes in at around 2.6 le per 100 kilometers combined. What does this mean in practical terms? If you're driving 15,000 miles per year, the Tesla will save you approximately 15-20% on charging costs compared to the Polestar. Over five years, that's potentially thousands of dollars in savings. Tesla's obsessive focus on efficiency pays real dividends here. Child safety. Both vehicles include latch lower anchors and tethers for children points for installing child safety seats. The rear doors open wide for easy installation of car seats, and both vehicles have been tested to ensure child seats can be properly secured. The Tesla Model Y includes rear door child locks and window lockout features controlled through the touchscreen. The Polestar 4 offers similar features with additional physical child lock switches on the rear doors. Pedestrian safety. As electric vehicles are quieter than traditional cars, both include pedestrian warning systems that emit sounds at low speeds to alert pedestrians and cyclists. The Tesla Model Y uses a subtle futuristic tone, while the Polestar 4 employs a more traditional engine-like sound. Winner, safety. This is essentially a tie. Both vehicles offer exceptional safety with top ratings from all major testing organizations. The Tesla has a slight edge in the comprehensiveness of its camera system, while the Polestar benefits from Volvo's legendary safety heritage. You can't go wrong with either vehicle from a safety perspective. Purchase Price Comparison The 2026 Tesla Model Y starts at approximately $47,990 for the base rear-wheel drive model. The long-range all-wheel drive version starts at around $52,490, and the performance model, if you want maximum acceleration, starts at approximately 56,990. These prices can vary based on current incentives, destination charges, and any price adjustments Tesla makes and Tesla is known for adjusting prices frequently. The 2026 Polestar 4 starts at approximately 56,300 for the single motor long range version. The dual-motor long-range starts around 64,300, and the top-tier dual-motor performance version starts at approximately 69,300. These prices position the Polestar 4 as a more premium offering, competing with luxury brands rather than mainstream manufacturers. When comparing similar configurations all-wheel drive with good range, the Tesla Model Y is approximately 10,000 to 12,000 less expensive than the Polestar 4. This is a significant difference that will impact the total cost of ownership calculation. Federal and state incentives. Both vehicles qualify for the federal EV tax credit in the United States, though eligibility depends on various factors including where the vehicle is manufactured, battery sourcing, and your personal tax situation. As of 2026, the federal credit can be up to 7,500, though this may be applied at the point of sale rather than as a tax credit. The Tesla Model Y is manufactured in the United States, Texas, and California, which helps it qualify for incentives. The Polestar 4 is manufactured in China and potentially South Korea, which may affect incentive eligibility depending on current regulations. State and local incentives vary widely. Some states offer additional rebates, reduced registration fees, or HOV lane access for EVs. Check your local incentives as they can add thousands of dollars in savings. Insurance costs. Insurance costs for both vehicles are higher than average due to their value and the cost of repairs. Tesla Model Y insurance typically ranges from $1,800 to $2,800 per year, depending on your location, driving record, and coverage levels. Some insurers charge higher premiums for Teslas due to expensive repairs and the cost of replacement parts. 
Polestar 4 insurance is similarly priced, typically ranging from $2,000 to $3,000 per year. The higher purchase price and luxury positioning contribute to slightly higher insurance costs in most markets. Tesla offers its own insurance product in some states, which can be significantly cheaper if you have a good driving record and use autopilot frequently. This isn't available everywhere, but where it is, it can save hundreds of dollars annually. Thanks to come, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys.